This video is the exact reason why the United States wants to ban TikTok. So the Americans are more interested in a transgender, homosexual agenda around the world. They will invest their money and give you money to protect human rights. Russia and China are coming with weapons and militarization strategies so that we can protect ourselves. So I want to say this very loud and clear to the Americans. Continue on your transgender agenda. <laughs> Stay there. Leave us to do politics on the other side. Because what we need right now is not a minority human rights activation. What we need is a societal transformation. And for you as Americans to think that we really envy that when you have an anti lesbian, anti gay, LGBT principle, then tourists will drop. Let me correct that once and for all smooth. And cut and clip this, and it must be loud and clear. Are you saying to me that all the tourists are gay? And when you hear that this is a non gay zone, tourism will suffer. Question number one. Question number two. Are you saying that we don't have a right to expressing ourselves as Africans? Question number three. If democracy means majority rules and majority votes against a principle, then why won't you allow that to become law? Are you saying the minority must manage the majority or the majority must manage the minority? Then if that whole ideology is wrong, then take democracy in a nice black dustbin bag and throw it outside. Because what you are telling us is, the, is, is the, by the people, for the people, with the people, and all, the, all those slogans you hear, what democracy represents. If we are 10 in the room and nine people say no, and one, people, one person says yes, democracy says you go with the majority. So if we say we want to make Africa democratic, and the demographics of our democracy says no, then why do you philosophically want to manipulate the will of the majority to favor the will of the minority? Then this is where it, it really gets confusing to me. Because you're selling me one thing and one. I understand this democracy because it is based on the principle one, two, three, four, five. When it comes to practice, no, you can't practice it like that. Then, then what do you want? Do you want democracy? You want anarchy? You want indigenous governance systems? You want meritocracy? Maybe let's find another way of governing ourselves. But the ideology of democracy being founded on majority rule does not count. Because the rule that the African constitution right now is not majority count. I will go on record for being on your show and saying it loud and clear without mixing words. Put a hundred people on an island and lock them away from everybody. Put a hundred people on an island who are heterosexual. Those are homosexual. Come back after 50 or 20 or 30 years. On that island, you'll find graves with no living being there. On this island, you'll find 10,000 people growing and exploring and moving. So having said that, we as a society, particularly as African society, we also as traditional people have a right to our self-preservation and continuity as a people. Alternative lifestyles must be practiced where they must be practiced. But the main agenda of societal drive must be left to the right, because even those that are on the left come from the right. I don't know if that makes sense. The conversation that we had for the same-sex marriages was, was, was very tricky for me because it did not seek to address the core issue. Are we saying this is what the people want? Or are we saying this is what the international community wants? Point number one. Point number two. In the event that I decide as a heterosexual that I want to bring up my children in a heterosexual way why does the homosexual want to stand on the path of my own children and how i want to institutionalize them and then pollute them with what they want if you want to pollute these children make your own <laughs> why come to the heterosexual <laughs> and then dictate the ways of the homosexual and dic so wait, wait, who is who, who has, who has got the right this time are you saying the rights rely with the homosexual or the right to life, the heterosexual, the balance needs to be found right there. That every citizen has got the right to life and decide how they want to run their lives and how they want to bring up their children, etc. And so ultimately we might end up with an urania. Let's create a state where this can happen there. That's real. And those who want to live in this other space, they can move into that space. And the, we are free to choose to change. It's a very deeper conversation. But and also especially and we are giving it we're giving it the time it demands. We are giving it the, the depth of thought that it demands. So that in the midst of saying human rights, human rights, we don't become emotional over 
protect gay rights, protect heterosexual rights. Because when you protect homosexual rights, you also need to become respectful of the heterosexual. And when you're promoting heterosexual, you also need to, prom to, to protect the homosexual. The reason why American mainstream media is not pushing this, which is ironic because that sounds definitely a lot more democratic than us. If you agree with a lot of those statements, be sure to give me a like, comment, and follow, and be sure to share this with a friend who needs to see this. Because we all know the mainstream press is not going to push it.